A long term plan on short term vacation rentals in Franklin. Yeah, from now on, all new Airbnbs have to be owner occupied. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen was in that city on the rise today as they juggle tourism growth with residents' concerns. In historic downtown Franklin, neighbors are used to seeing tourists. It can be rented if they stay a long time. Residents like Betty Underwood don't want to see Airbnbs crowding the neighborhood. I think anybody in here would be happy with those Airbnbs. We thought that they had changed their mind about that. In December, the city passed an ordinance that requires a homeowner to live at their short-term rental. The new rules state only one short-term rental is allowed on a lot. While many neighbors we talk to are against short-term rentals, some are taking advantage of it on the Airbnb app. There's 300 plus places to stay in the downtown Franklin area, and this one's listed for 93 a night. For those people that come in maybe with families, they like the opportunity to rent a house. Visitors Bureau President Ellie Westman Chin doesn't believe the restrictions will hurt tourism. There are a lot of Airbnbs here that were grandfathered into the ordinance, so if they were already up and running, then that doesn't apply to them. So I feel like they're going to be able to find what they need to find. She says the majority of visitors stay in hotels and actually our research shows that's the number one place they like to stay. You know the whole month of March is basically rented up. Joey Fuson grew up in Franklin. It's our only short term vacation rental. He bought this house and made it a short term vacation rental. You can see they got both for three cars to park. He doesn't live at the home but he says he's had zero problems. I think a lot of people are concerned about this bachelorette party party scene thing coming and I've done it now for a year and I have not seen that. As of now he's not affected by the new regulations as he's not in a resident residential district. However, as a host, he hopes no additional restrictions are proposed. With this new law and the new restrictions, they've in essence done the most they should do. Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Uh, currently, there are 206 permitted short-term rental properties in Franklin. If owners want to sell the properties that were grandfathered in, they would lose that permit unless the home is sold to a family member.